Yes, indeed, as the title says, it's a 68 Oldsmobile. I think it's a 442. I'm not sure if that's a 442 or it's a Cutlass Supreme. Uh, I'm to think of it. I don't even think the Cutlass Supreme existed in 68. I'm not sure about that. Of course, you did have the F85. The F85 was the base model. You could even say it was the equivalent of the Pontiac T37, which was the cheaper version of the Le Mans. First year for this design. I don't know if it's a coincidence that has, happens to be next to that nice Cadillac, but not nice enough for me to fill beca film because the steering wheels change, the wheels are not. Anyway, let's just say she's uh, not to my uh, standards. There's my friend uh, Roger 68SS. I'd like to film a ride in. Maybe if I could find him, the guy. I don't know where he is, but uh, as we say in French here, in Quebec, on verra, which means we'll see. First year for the uh, side marker lights on both ends for safety. One of the other things that was new for safety from General Motors, and I think the other companies as well, because it was a mandatory uh, implementation from the U.S. government, was the uh, when you took the key out of the ignition, the steering wheel would lock. Fucking beautiful interior, man. Really nice. Really nice, like cream white. I guess it's vinyl. Yeah, very nice condition. Not excellent, but floor shifter, console, tachometer. Yeah. It's a nice machine. But again, see how cool that was? They only did that one year where, you know, where they would have the side marker lights in the back. You know, the shape of the uh, emblem of the make. So for Pontiac, it was... Uh, you know, the, the Pontiac symbol. Oh yeah, so that's it, it's a Cutlass. I guess it was a holiday coupe, you know, like the one I have in that. You know, arguably, it's funny because although this body was made up until 72, arguably the rear end on these, the 68, 69s, maybe were the the sharpest ones, you know? I don't know. I guess it depends, we all have our tastes, eh? And there's the historic Orange julep ball. I think it's what 75 feet high. Every Wednesday night here in Montreal. Still can't believe what two years later this fucking place is owned by the Chinese. You know, I'll buy anything. Hey, at least it exists. My friend, you need to uh, park better than that, eh? 67 Pontiac Parisien. It's got that stupid-looking C plate on there, which is a collector car plate. But why did they make it so small? It looks dopey. I'll show you why I'm not fan. I'm not a big fan of this 68. There's the shitty... Oh, no, wait a minute. Look at this. All of a sudden, the original wheels are back on. Oh, that's weird. It's had a shitty bodywork done on the whole rocker panel there. Versus, you look at the 67, it's all straight. Hey, look at that. Power top. Nice. I didn't know they had a power top. Right on. You know, it's funny. I, I can't believe it. I guess because of the heat, it's like 30, 31 degrees Celsius before the humidity or whatever. And I'm here in the sun and I'm thinking, man, I didn't mention anything about this color, this gorgeous red. It's a totally a retro, old school shade of red, like lipstick. Very cool stuff. I'd love to ride in one of these. I never rode in one of these cutlasses. Look at that beautiful interior. God, does it ever look inviting? It says, come on in, make yourself at home. Bring your coffee, whatever. Let's cruise, daddy-o. Let's put the metal to the metal. You know? Nice white leather tires. Fantastic. Very nice. Very nice automobile. So there you go, guys. Look at that. NHRA, National Hot Rod Association. Right on. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh... Oh, what the fuck? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the caddy's got one stock rim and one of these wire caps on either side. That's hilarious. Anyway, bye-bye.